All right, for this video, we are starting off with the Dokkan Battle LR, Carnival LR, Super Saiyan Goku, Super Saiyan Trunks, and Super Saiyan Vegeta from the Android 13 movie. I'm pretty excited about this because um, I think that's a really cool dynamic in that in that show or in that movie, I, I, I should say, is that, you know, when they all turn Super Saiyan. So I'm excited to see what they do with these animations and everything like that. And uh, let's go ahead and dive in and react to this. Okay, okay, that's clean. Yo, this must be the entrance animation. This must be the entrance animation. Okay, all right. I dig it. Oh, that's that's actually pretty sick. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is the frame I use to make my uh, community post. But yeah, seeing it in action though, that is sick. That is really sick. That so far my favorite frame. We'll see though. We'll see though. <laughs> okay, so this is the 12 key. Yo, that goes pretty hard. Okay, we're still going. All right, all right, a reanimated uh, trunk slashing. Uh, I believe we have the physical one that does that too. Okay. Okay. Hold up, dude. Uh, hold. No. Uh uh. Uh uh. Okay. All right. Hold up. Okay. All right. 18 key. I'll be the one to end this Lummox. What? What's a Lummox? Okay. This 18 key. What is so significant about this is the angles and the shots that they take with these animations. This is sick. Okay. They start off with Vegeta and they go to Trunks. He does his burning attack. Goku, dude, the zoom, the zoom in and out. Look at that. That is insane. Oh, man, dude, that's okay. That's hype. That's hype. That's peak. And that shot right there of him doing the big bang attack when it zooms in right here. Zooms into him and then it zooms out it, it, it changes frames and then zooms out or not zooms out but changes the angle it's just dude it works so well together okay active skill Nice. Okay. Oh, dude. Oh, my goodness. What is this? Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Oh, my gosh. What? Okay, the beginning's a little wonky, just a little bit. Just a little bit, but... Yo! This shot right here! Oh, man! Oh, that, that, like, dude. What? This is a mobile game? Yes, it is.
You know, stuff like this just makes up for all the dead periods. I'm not gonna lie. I just it's yeah. All right, all right. Let's let's check out the details. Let's check out the details. Let's check out the details. Okay. So they are int. Um uh Super Saiyan cat category, key plus three nature being attack and defense plus two hundred percent. Okay. That's good because Super Saiyans is a very common category in this game, for sure. I like it. All right, so um, I was reading up on this a little earlier just because I don't want to read through like the whole entire thing. I was just kind of going to highlight what I think is very significant about this kit. Um, they reduce damage received by 30% for five turns, you know, from the character's entry turn. So even if they start out as the seventh character and they come into rotation on the third turn in the battle, um, you still get the five turns of the damage reduction, which is nice, which is really, really nice. Uh, as far as I can tell, they're going to be a very highly defensive, but also, you know, more of an offensive type of unit. And they're going to be really good for the short content. So uh, with the way the boss fights are going in red zone, I think they're made almost perfectly for that for sure so um it's it's uh and and the reason why i say that is because you know they have a lot in their kit that has a lot to do with like getting defense and attack they're not really supporting uh they they are an orb changer which is good uh, i guess they're supporting in that way in a more indirect way so um but being an orb changer is always a good thing. This right here, though, uh, a high chance of becoming a super attack. So, yeah, right here. Launches an additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super attack for every three key spheres obtained. Up to three additional attacks within the turn. So, my thing is, if you build this unit with as much additional as possible... How many additionals could this unit potentially get in one super attack? Not one super attack, but like in that turn when you super attack with them. Like w w with this in their active skill or their passive skill, I mean, this in their passive skill and then putting a bunch of additionals into their hidden potential system as well with uh, skill orbs and uh, uh, as well as their actual hidden potential system. It's insane to think that maybe they could get seven super attacks off. Five to seven per turn. Per turn. Now, I have not seen them perform personally, so I don't know how much damage they could do, but any unit that can attack that much, that can do that many supers in one turn, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Okay. Along with being an orb changer. Can't can't beat that. All right. So yeah, that is just a few things I want to highlight in their passive skill. But uh their active skill condition actually is decent. Um uh it can be activated starting from the third turn if they you know if all allies attacking the same turn are Super Saiyan category characters. So or uh from the sixth turn from the start of battle, once only. So Massively raises attack temporarily, causes ultimate damage to the enemy, and within the turn activated, all attacks become critical hits. So this is huge. This is huge. Because going back to the fact that they had, you know, this unit could potentially, depending on how you build them, potentially get five to seven super attacks off. And then getting, you know, after, let's, let's say you activate this active skill in that turn, and then they get five to seven super attacks off. That's five to seven super attacks that are guaranteed to be critical hits. Insane. Insane. Madness. Absolute madness in my in my humble opinion there. So um they're on Super Saiyans, Join Forces, Movie Heroes, Transformation Boost, Kamehameha, Final Trump Card, Connected Hope, and Power of Wishes. So, um, 
not too many categories, but uh, I would say, you know, they're helping out Power of Wishes for sure. Uh, they're ha helping out Connected Hope. Um, join Forces for sure as well. Movie Heroes. I mean, Movie Heroes was still in a pretty good spot, uh, but it, it, they're definitely helping there. Kamehameha. Ha. Um, didn't really need help. But it's all. It's always nice to you know add things. You know, add add units to, um, an ever growing category. So, um, final trump card. They're helping out. So they're helping out some pretty good, you know, categories that actually need need some help there. So, uh, even though they're not on very many categories, they're they're making an impact. They're making an impact for sure. Um. Their link skills. Is there another picture here with their link skills? No. Because that, that thing's covering it. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Super Saiyan Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan Warrior Race, or Saiyan Warrior Race, Experienced Fighters, Prepare for Battle, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Powder. A pretty pretty standard link set for Super Saiyans. Okay. So, which is not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. Um, On their 12 key, they're greatly raising attack for three turns. So, they're greatly stacking attack for three turns and causing colossal damage. On their 18 key, they're greatly stacking attack and defense for three turns. So I believe, uh, what, stacking, what, 70% attack and defense and then 70% attack, if I remember correctly. If they, if that's, um, if greatly raising attack or greatly raising defense is 70%, uh, I think that, I think that's right. But if I'm not right, you can let, you, you can correct me in the comments below. I, I, I don't mind. I don't mind. But yeah. But on their 18 key, they're causing mega colossal damage. So that's not bad. That's not bad. Uh, it definitely goes with the fact that they are heavily, heavily, heavily. What am I trying to say here? That they are definitely a unit that benefits from additional attacks. So um, there's some synergy there with their super attacks. Uh, synergy there with their active skill. So... I think overall, I mean, this unit can really benefit from uh, an additional hidden potential build for sure. So, um, but their kit's looking pretty good. Pretty good. I would have to say so myself. But you can definitely know, let me know your opinions about this unit, about their animations, about their kit down in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys. But that's about it. If there's any other videos, pertaining to this unit or anything else in this i guess you could say part two of the celebration um i do have some other things i want to discuss and talk about as far as them being released now um it kind of tells us a few things for the you know the future of dokkan in the near future actually i think a little, little bit of telltale here so but yeah uh, I appreciate y'all for watching, and I will catch y'all in the next video.